So today, today we will be looking how we can recover or install the image on uh, any Z9100 or S4048 or S3048 devices actually when when you had previously installed OS10 or any other open OS. Okay, so normally when you install OS10 and uh, you want you want to run again the OS9, so first of all you have to install the ONI. Okay. So on this particular box, we, we had installed the OS 10 and uh, done some testing actually. So now we want we want to run again the OS 9. If you can see currently, currently it is looking for looking for the nearest DHCP server and, and trying to configure the IP address on the each, each zero. So we'll see how we can configure that and what all things we, we need to consider when we are doing this actually. Okay. So first of all, uh, uh, we have to stop the auto discovery so that uh, we can configure the static IP and and the gateways and and trying to access our our HTTP uh, uh, or HTTP HTTPS or FTP or TFTP servers from where we we will able to download our image. Okay, so let's stop the uh, discovery first. So what you have to do actually, so you have to type this actually. Uh, only discovery stop. Okay, uh, so it is not stopped because it is it is under progress. So sometimes you have to type twice actually. So now you can see it it start the it stop the daemon actually and kill the process. Okay, so it is stopped. So how to check the configuration of your interface? So it's it's similar to your Linux. So if config you have to type. So right now we have an IP address of one sixty nine. 254.80.143, which we don't need actually. So what we need, we need our own static IP. So we'll try to configure that. For that, you have to type IP config, and then the each zero. Uh, what type of interface? What what? Are, so this particular connection will work only on the management actually. So if in 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 the 9100 or S3048 or 4048s, we have the rest of the four, particular ports, but this particular configuration work on only on management port. So you have to connect your management cable to 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 the actual live production so that you can access uh, your servers or uh, TFTP servers or HTTP servers. OK, so the cables are connected in, in this particular scenario and uh, we'll try to configure that. So we will be using our own IP 10.162.0. Uh, 64.54 or 53, I should use. Okay, and then you have to use the net mask. So subnet mask or net mask actually. On this particular prompt, uh, tap will not work. So make sure whatever you are typing, the spells are correct, and uh, uh, then only it will work. So if you hit enter here, it will configure the IP. But the problem with this is basically it will it will not bring up the interface. So uh, you have to type keyword up, or if you want to uh, shut down the interface, actually you have to down you have to type down actually. So in our case, we will be using up, and we will be hitting the enter. After that, we will be adding the uh, adding the default uh, gateway, uh, which will be uh, the command will be route add default GW gateway and then 10.162.64.1. Okay. So what we will do, we'll we'll try to ping our IP, the gateway IP, and see whether we have a reachability to the external world or not. Okay. So we can reach our gateway very well. And if you want to see the configuration of the interface, so the configuration of the interfaces looks like this. Okay. So this is the IP address, and this is the broad, uh, broadcast IP or broadcast uh, uh, IP address, and then the subnet mask. Okay, it will not show them uh, what you call it, uh, the gateway in this. So it is little different. Okay, so before that, actually, so obviously you want you want the image image so that you can uh, you can download that. So from where? you you want to download the image actually 
so i will give you the link actually of this so you have to go to support uh, del dot del dot com slash support and uh, you will see this particular page okay so to check the mac address or to, to check the service tag sorry so what is the service tag of the box you have to type this command and we can see the service tag is here okay and the model is basically z9100 here okay so we'll copy this and we'll paste here so it will it will search the model and the stuff of of the box warranty and other stuff so what you have to do you have to go into uh, drivers and downloads so once you go there actually you will see the operating system the first part correct so you have to click that if you want to download some older version of the image you can click on uh, this older version okay but we are not going to install the older version we are going to install the latest one and to see the actual image you have to click on the full view and there will be three files uh, one is basically the pdf the instruction of that i tell the another thing this one is this file we use basically when the box or the switch is basically running with os9 and if you want to upgrade from 9.14.2.10 to or 11.11 uh, uh, 11, uh, 2.10 or 11 to 12 actually we will we'll use this particular file and and if you are running with oni obviously you need a oni bin file okay so this particular file i had already uploaded in my uh, ftp server or http server so we'll we'll use that so i'm not going to download this so for you you have to download and put it into your tftp or ftp server so that you can access uh, uh, that particular thing from from your switch okay so the next test basically uh, what is the command for uh, installing the image actually? So the command is basically oni nos uh, installed, okay? And uh, that you have to give uh, the command uh, from where you want to download. So in my case, actually, I will be using FTP. So, uh, so the command is basically FTP, and then you have to give your username, whatever FTP username. In my case, it is, I, I just created a simple, username so it is ftp and then uh, uh, you have to define your password okay so password is in this case it is l del and then you have to give the ip address of your uh, ftp server in my case it is 10.149.67.24 and then you have to give your image name whatever image name you have actually okay so, so this is the email name. This is the email name we are going to upgrade into that, correct? So we'll hit enter. So you can see it is already uh, downloading the image on port number 21, which is FTP. And it will, it will download the image and then it will remove the ONI and, uh, and do the partition of the boxes, a uh, partition of the uh, switch storage and once once everything will be done we'll we'll see uh, the the box will come to the os9 uh, operating system okay so it will take a couple of minutes to download and and do the installation so we'll wait for that and if you, if you want me to add some other videos on any other discussion or any other point or any other topics let me know in the comments so that we can we can add in our channel and you can get the benefit from that videos and if you had not already subscribed our channel and uh, if you are first time in our channel please hit a subscribe button and uh, press the bell icon so that uh, you will get the notification of uh, our all new videos, whatever we are preparing for you. Okay, so it is the process is still going on, so it will take another couple of minutes to complete that with the image. Actually, looks like it is already IPv6 partition configuration. It is already done, and BMP it is going on. And so once it will be starting, I will 
I will do a fast forward later on actually. So uh, on one place you have to press about or A. So this is the place, okay? You have to press about, it says press A to about the BMP. Uh, what is BMP actually? Bare metal provisioning. So zero touch or uh, you can say correct. So we are not going to configure uh, through BMP. So we want to abort this process actually, and it will it will boot the box uh, normally. Okay, so we'll I hit A, so it will start start booting the box normally. So first time whenever you are you are installing any image, whether it is OS nine or OS ten, uh, we have to abort that, and and once that will be done actually, it will come to the normal uh, normal prompt actually. Okay. So you can see it is still it is in Dell EMC BMP, but it will it will it will complete that and it will come to the normal prompt. Okay, so it is comes into normal prompt. Okay, so now the box is booted. You can see so that 9100 it is there and it is running with 9.14.2.12. Okay, thanks thanks for watching this video.